welcome to the breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up Stripe with WooCommerce. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to remind you it's brought to you by Bluehost. Go to the breakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. First link down below to get an awesome WordPress website for just $3.95 a month. It's an incredible deal. We host all of our sites on them. They offer free SSL, a free domain, and all of that awesome stuff when you sign up. So go check it out. Again, that's the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. Nonetheless, how do you install Stripe on WooCommerce? Well, it's pretty easy. You want to go to plugins over here on your WordPress website. Go to plugins, add new, and then you want to type in WooCommerce Stripe, right? Both of those and search, and then it will come up with the WooCommerce Stripe payment gateway right here. You want to click install, and then you want to click activate. Once it's activated, it takes us back to the plugins page here, but we then want to come over here to WooCommerce, and then we want to go to settings. After that, we want to go to payments. Kind of getting there can be a second, so boom, over here, and then we actually want to go to checkout. That's my bad. Once it's installed, it'll take you to the plugins page. You then want to go over here to WooCommerce, go to settings, and then after that has finally loaded, we're going to want to go to the checkout tab right up here. Once you click the checkout tab, it will open up a thing where you can see all of the payment gateways you have installed right here. As you can see Stripe ads quite a few. We're not going to be dealing with any of these on the end. I'm just going to be setting up general Stripe to allow for credit card processing. First things first though, you want to come down here to the bottom and make sure Stripe is where you want it in your line of payment options. In my case, I want it at the top, so it's good to go. If yours, you want it down here or at the bottom, whatever, that's where you want to put it. Next, we want to go ahead and jump over here to Stripe right here. Once that's loaded up, we want to make sure Stripe is both enabled as well as what it is titled. So we can do credit card, Stripe, you can just do credit card, I typically on our sites just do credit card. I'm actually setting this up, by the way, on a live site, the breakdown.xyz. This is going to be used. And then we can see pay with your credit card via Stripe. That's fine because I think it is important that people know where they're paying with. I just don't think it's necessarily important to put Stripe up there. I want to enable test mode because I don't want to use my public keys here because, well, you guys could just go in and, and do all sorts of stuff with that. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to use the test mode. When you're doing this live, you're going to want to disable test mode like it is right now. But we want to enable it. Inline credit card form. I would recommend leaving that unchecked. Basically, you can read the little check right here. It is going to put everything in line for the credit card, and that can be a little confusing it, to me as an end user. So, statement descriptor, you want to add anything specific to the statement. Capture charge immediately, yes, you want to do that. 3D secure when equitable, leave that unchecked. Enable Stripe checkout, we're going to leave that unchecked as well. Enable payment request buttons, we want to do that. It allows you to use Apple Pay and things. What button type do you want? Do you want buy? Do you want donate? Obviously, this is a store, we want buy. Payment request to button theme, do you want it to be dark, light, all that stuff. I'm going to keep mine dark because I think that's going to stand out on our side a little more and I want it to. Payment request button height. How big do you want it to be? Saved cards. Enable payment via saved cards or disable it. I disable it just because I don't like having any liability of saving a credit card. Even though that is saved on Stripe's end, I, I still don't want that. And then we can click save. Now, how do we set up the API keys here? So as you can see, these are blank. We, what we want to do is come over here and set up a Stripe account. Just go to stripe.com. I'm going to have Stripe linked down below, but it's really really pointless to have it down there. Just go to stripe.com and create a new account. It's going to ask you for a ton of information, everything from your social security number to your bank account information and everything because they're processing payments for you and they need to know quite a bit about you to trust you enough to do that. So um, once that's done, we can come down here to API. Once you click API, you'll... Uh, have your public API keys displayed. I went ahead and did the jump cut to right here, so I have the test keys displayed, but nevertheless, they're still blurred out on your screen because I don't want to take any liability for that. I don't want to even take the risk, but they're not the public keys for me. To get to the public keys, you'll just click a view test data right here or vice versa to get to the testing keys. You'll just click that little uh, button. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and just copy these. So we want to take the publishable key, copy this, and go over to WooCommerce to where it says publishable key over here. And again, that's going to be blanked out, which it does it automatically, which is great. Then we want to come back over here. We want to reveal test key token copy that again blurred out on your side but that's fine come back over here to WooCommerce, paste that in, and then we can click save changes. It's as simple as that. It's now set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little payment process for you guys, just to show you it's working. It'll show up on Stripe as a test and we'll be good to go. So once you're on your checkout page, I just went through, went to the shop page, bought a product, got here to the checkout page. Now what we wanna do is uh, copy this right here. It's our trusty little fake credit card number for Stripe. And then for the expiration date, we can do whatever. As long as it's in the future, I'm just gonna do 11, let's say 11, 19. And and then for the CVV, we can just do 111 and place order. It will now go through and uh, yeah. 
submit an order via Stripe. It's not a real order, obviously, it's fake, but it'll allow you to make sure everything's working and see everything on the Stripe dashboard. I'll uh, see you guys once it's finished processing. There we go, it just processed and it took me to this page where, long story short, there's an error here because I've got to set some things up. That's nonetheless, let's go back over here, where if we go to home, we should be able to see a payment coming through. That's right, it's a test payment. So it doesn't show up on there. If we go over here to payments, there it is, right? There's the payment we just sent right here via Stripe for testing. Awesome. So there's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, there's one thing I want to do real quick. If we jump back over here, as you can see, we need to set up WCAPI underscore Stripe to our hooks in Stripe in order to uh, get things to work. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So if you come over here, you want to go back to API and then under API right here, you want to click on web hooks and then you want to add an endpoint URL to be boom and then send all event types to there you go. Boom. Simple as that added in right there. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome WordPress online business related content. We post it nearly every single day. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out, guys. Peace.